Hello and welcome back to my channel. So it's just going to be another one of those videos from me where I'm doing the updates of some of the stuff you've seen on my channel um, that I haven't posted for a little while just to see how they're growing just so you can see the difference compared to the previous um, video you saw of them and I'm going to link all the videos in those species in the same playlist so that you could just see them one from one and the after and so on and you could see how they're doing and today I am going to do the Selenocosmia craspipes the Queensland whistling spider and hopefully I can get them to come out they always seem to be out when I don't want them out uh, they feed regularly uh, and I mean regularly they're growing very very fast so I just thought I'd give you an update on the enclosure um, don't forget to like that uh, hit that subscribe button and obviously pop me a like any comments um, you want to put in there, anything you want to see that I haven't done for a while and then I'll give you an update on those as well but I'm going to flip this around and then I'll show you straight away um, the enclosure and what they've done in the enclosure and then hopefully see if I can try and feed them so let's go okay so as you remember I did it in this split enclosure and you can see on the left water dish left all the twigs and everything in there they've done some extensive webbing but this this spider on this side has started to dig out another tunnel and if you remember I did the three original holes they are now all linked exactly the way I wanted them to so they're all linked in between and this one's constantly digging this one out but I think it's here but I'm going to try and put a prey item there and see if it'll rush out they are extremely quick and um, they just grab it but if they notice the tongs or I disturb them or knock them they will dart back in and I won't see them again for a couple of hours but this one's dug down can't see nothing on this side you can see the substrate still moist but drier at the bottom so I'm leaving it and I'm leaving it all the same they tend to go right down here and then in the evening they come up and they stay in this moister area um, I find all oh, they're out on the ground floor digging around and they move the leaves around and everything on to the right hand side you can see this one's done the same again linked all three holes but you can't see them they've done a massive web chamber on the top so I don't know whether this is difference between male and female no idea because um, obviously I haven't sexed them yet and when these molt they molt down underground so I can't get the molt out um, they're both big but one's getting slightly bigger than the other one so I don't know which one that is at the minute hopefully we'll see them in a second but this one's done like a chamber so it's done tunnels of web and it's done like a chamber inside so I'm going to try and put the prey item there but this one same again you can see where it is it's done a chamber here which goes all the way up here and then comes out to a hole just there and then this one goes back all the way through and comes out to that top chamber there but you can see this one here from the first video I had them at a couple of centimeters I think there were two centimeters now ooh, I'd say this one an inch inch and a half maybe a little bit more I'm not too sure so I think it's the one on the left that's a little bit bigger uh, one's got slightly thicker legs than the other one but they are extremely feisty so let's see if we can get this one up and give them a good feed start with the one on the left and I don't know if you can see on the camera I'm just going to try and whisper but this cricket is in a trip wire it's done wires from this branch everywhere and it's actually stuck on it so there's another one. I don't know if that's coming up on the camera. Oh, this one's actually done another hole. just come flying straight out I'm not sure if it's the light that's putting them off although this one seems to have webbed over two of the holes so maybe this one's in pre-molt I'll leave it a second let's go do the other one you can see it down there let's see what happens so I'm just going to put the cricket here and let it wriggle around a second. Just like that. Let's see if there's any movement. 
Yep, that one's gone, so it's going to come out. Now the thing is, is I've got to not knock the web too hard, otherwise this one will not come up. And I've been trying... Whoa! God, that was so quick! I told you they come up explosively. Um, not sure if it's going to come all the way back down. We'll just wait here for a second. Um, but sometimes when I've caught them out in the open... No, it's still there. Or you could just see it. Sorry, I've done the enclosures so well you can't really make out anything in there. But um, they feel a lot safer. Oh, I can't really give you a look at it. But that was a big cricket. That was a large cricket. So I'd say this one's nearly... Yeah, it's definitely an inch and a half. Definitely. And these ones do a dance straight away. Oh, it's going to take it down. You can still see it there slightly, but because of the webbing on the enclosure, it's still there. There's one leg. Oh, you can't really see because of the glare. If you can see, that's a leg. You can't see it at all. It blends in so well with the actual substrate. It's turning around. So I'm going to try and see if I can feed the other one, but I think the other one may be in pre-malt. But yeah, she's webbing, look. If you can see that. Oh, it's in such a position I can't really get you in there to see. Without damaging it, and I'm not going to damage any of the web. Oh yeah, she's a lot bigger than what I thought. With these as well, as they grow, they widen their holes. And I've actually seen them do it quite a few times. It's just amazing to watch. There you go. She notices I'm out. Look, I can see her eyes. don't know if you can see those. Oh, you can just see her eyes. She's quite big, but it's so well camouflaged. But they feel a lot safer when you do their enclosure like this. She's coming out. Oh no, the light spooked her again. God damn it, trying to give you a look. It's got a longer, slender sort of abdomen, so I've no idea if this is a male or they both do the same. I think in this species they tend to have longer abdomens. And she's now going down. I just want to see if she'll go fully down to her chamber at the bottom and eat it. But it definitely shows you, do the anchor points, do the three holes, and they will interconnect them all together. Let's see if she brings it down here. Because this is her little, like, living area. She's on her way down at the minute. I'd say there's five inches of substrate she's got to climb down, so it's really, really deep for her. But you can see she's laid web all down on the floor. And you can see the web she's laid all the way up to the top so they can feel everything. I think at the minute she won't come over to her living area just because I've got the torch there. So I'll try and see if I can get the other one out, see if I can feed that one. Right, second time. I think this one's actually living down there. It's done a burrow all the way down into the corner and it comes all the way back across. So I'm just going to see if I can get any movement. See if I can get this just stuck in the web a little. When you're doing this with um, the cricket in the web, a couple of little taps, but then always stop. Because that's what the crickets do, if you've noticed. They stop and they freeze and pretend they're dead. <coughs> Excuse me. And then go straight back. A couple more taps like they're struggling. Definitely think this one's in pre malt though. She's come back out. Oh, there we go. We can see her. 
wow. Yeah, she's definitely probably, I would say two inches actually. She's a lot bigger than what I thought, but they get huge, these ones. Because she's redoing her web everywhere. It's beautiful to see. Very feisty species. Look at that, webbing up her chamber. Oh, there's crickets on the move. If you go down the hole, mate, that's the last you'll see. Don't think I'm going to get this one up. I'm actually going to try and... Oh. Yeah. Get this one out because this one's in pre-molt, so I'm not going to leave it in there. But at least we saw one. Look at that, still webbing up on it. It's definitely a species to get. Um, it is a bit of a pet hole at the beginning, but once they got to about an inch, they're always out multiple times in a day, webbing up above the ground, and they try and conceal themselves in a web cocoon, almost like the OBT, but this one with channels. So it's a definite good species to have. And if you catch them out in the middle of the web during the day, just say like somewhere here, they will turn to you and literally they can see so they've got good eyesight and then they'll go into threat pose and they'll start to stridulate and they'll make this little whistling noise which i've heard like a little it's like a barking or whistling noise and it's amazing i've been trying to get it on camera but once i realize they're doing it they stop and then they'll run off so it's like their way of defense and then they'll run away but at least we've managed to see that one so thanks very much look out for the next update see if they get bigger see if we can get to see the other one on the other side and i will see you on the next video